As you guys know, I made a video four months ago explaining how to play every operator. And well, Ubisoft just recently added another operator. So today I'll be going over Bravin and explaining how to play her. So if you want to master Bravin and have an edge over your opponents, then make sure you watch until the very end of the video because there are some things about Brava that a lot of people are getting wrong. Before I tell you how to play Brava, you must first understand what she brings to the table. And well, Ubisoft decided that two drone operators wasn't enough, so they decided to release Brava with her patented clutch drone. These things are the entire Watch Dogs franchise in a drone. When deployed, you'll notice that her drones have three shots. Each shot can be used to hack one Defender gadget. These hacks aren't like Dokubi hacks. When a gadget is hacked, it is completely removed from the defenders and converted to the attacking side. This means ADSs and Wamai Magnets will capture defender projectiles, Maestro's Evil Eyes, Valk's Cams, and Echo's drones will be controllable by Rava, Mute's Jammers will disable defender gadgets, Batteries and Electro Claws will be destroyed by Brava's drone, and Traps will be triggered by the defenders. Now you may be thinking to yourself, that seems like a lot of gadgets. Well, Brava can't get away with hacking defender gadgets for free. She has the same counters as any other drone operator, those being Mute, Mozzie, and Vigil. If a Kludge drone comes into proximity of a Mute jammer, they will be disabled until the jammer is destroyed. Same as usual. However, Mozzie presents an interesting threat. When Mozzie captures a Kludge drone, he gets full access to it. This means that he can use your Kludge drone against your team and can hack attacker gadgets, even your other Kludge drone. This is by far one of the most complex counters Siege has ever had, and if you let Mozzie get control of one of your drones, it can hurt your team drastically. So when you see a Mozzie on the other team, maybe think to switch off of Brava, or at the very least, watch out for his pests. Now that you grasp the sheer amount of interactions Brava's drones have with the Defender's gadgets, I think it's time to talk about her loadout. Brava comes equipped with the Para 308 Assault Rifle and the worst FAL in video game history as her primary options, and the Super Shorty Shotgun and USP-40 Pistol as secondary options. For the primary option side of things, you should be running the Para 308 every time. It brings a high damage, even higher if you run an extended barrel, a 1.5 sight, and solid recoil. But if you find the recoil will be slightly difficult for you, you can swap out the extended barrel for the flash hider and you'll have an even easier time. As for secondaries, I think the choice is a bit more of a toss up. If you want some additional soft destruction, then the Super Shorty is perfect. It can allow you to open hatches, barricades, and soft surfaces from a distance, which is pretty solid. But if you would rather have a good secondary to fall back on in a pinch, the USP is definitely the better option. The Super Shorty's range is awful when it comes to dealing damage and it can only hold three shotgun shells at a time. Whereas the USP, since it's a pistol, has a much longer range with more ammo and damage. Her great loadout in combination with her two speed rating allows her to have some great fragging potential. And her smoke grenades, which is the secondary gadget you should be running on her, helps with this. When running her, you should be using her smoke grenades to help your team get a plant down or to cover a potential rush into a room. These can provide huge utility if used correctly, so don't waste them on burning ADSs or mine magnets unless you absolutely have to. Now that I've explained everything that Brava can do, I can now answer the question you clicked on the video for. How do I play Brava? Well, to understand how to play Brava, you have to know when you should use her. Now, despite the fact that most of my clips in this video are on Emerald, Brava isn't an operator that is map dependent. When you should pick her is based on the enemy team's lineup. If the enemies don't have many or any electronic gadgets, then you shouldn't run her. Since her gadget is entirely reliant on countering electronic gadgets, she would be useless otherwise. Also, I think she's only useful against specific operators, which I consider to be Malusi, Capcan, Valk, Maestro, Echo, and Aruni. The reason these operators are so strong to bring Brava against is because their gadgets are easy to hack and are strong when put against the defenders. The most useful of these for her to hack are defender cameras by far. Maestro's Evil Eyes, since they are bulletproof, can provide your team with a free camera that can only be destroyed by defender explosives. Echo Drones gives your team an additional drone that can be used to disorient defenders, and they can be used like a normal drone just to drone out where defenders are located. With Valk Cams and Default Cams, they are strong because it gives your team extra intel. In Siege, intel is king, as I'm sure you guys have heard. You need as much of it as you can get. One extra camera can allow your team to make that round winning call out. As for traps, they can be useful, but I would say their use is a lot more niche. Malusi's Banshees are by far the most useful to hack out of the traps because they are bulletproof and they cover a large area, which increases the likelihood of a defender getting affected by the hacked Banshee. Traps like Capcan Traps, Concussion Mines, and Goo Mines should only be hacked in very specific situations. If a trap is placed on your team's flank or if a trap is on a doorway to the bomb site, these are worth hacking. They can catch rotating defenders off guard, giving you an audio cue, and in the case of Capcan can give you some free damage. But if you hack traps that are placed on random doorways throughout the map, a lot of the time defenders won't even walk through them and it'll just be a waste of a hack on your part. 
Now, when it comes to Waldenau, Brava can hack that as well, but there's a catch. When Kaid's electric claws or Bandit's batteries are hacked, they just get destroyed, which means you should only be using your Kludge drone on these if you absolutely have to. As for Mute Jammers, when they are hacked, they will actually disable Defender gadgets in their radius, which is pretty strong and it can allow you to deal with multiple gadgets at once. Hacking a Mute Jammer can be hard, but if you can pull it off, it can provide some decent utility. Now, one thing that I see a lot of people talk about is ADSs on my magnets. In my opinion, they are absolutely useless to hack. Their ability to destroy Defender projectiles is strong, but most of the time where ADSs on my magnets are placed, they won't benefit your team at all. So destroying them is the better option. Another thing you need to keep in mind when deciding when to bring Brava in your lineup is how many counters the defenders are bringing. If they're bringing a Mute and Mazze, you should probably stay away from Brava. When both of these operators are chosen, you will have a much harder time getting to Defender's gadgets, and if Mozzie gets control of your drone, it can hurt your team a lot. Based on everything I just said, you probably understand that her gadget is a little niche, but how can you play Brava to get the most out of her gadget? Well, first off, don't do what I see a lot of Bravas do, which is sitting outside half the round of their clutch drones looking for gadgets. I would recommend using one of your drones in the prep phase to figure out where the defenders are playing and where the majority of their utility is. This is contradictory to what I would normally say, which is for you to keep your drones alive during the prep phase. But with Brava specifically, she needs as much intel on what gadgets the defenders are bringing and where as possible. Once you figure out where the majority of their utility is, you should help your team take map control based on that intel. While doing this, you can also capture default cameras nearby to hold your team's flanks and other gadgets that could help your team. Obviously, to do this properly, you need to be communicating as much intel as possible to your teammates. So if you aren't wanting to call out or you just don't have a mic, Brava definitely isn't the best operator for you. Her playstyle requires you to be communicating with your team to get the most out of her. Once you've helped your team take map control, you can then focus on the bomb site and hacking any defender gadgets inside of it. The reason it's important to aid in gaining map control before you do this is because it can save your team a lot of time. And if you just sit on your drones looking for defender gadgets the whole round, not only will your team be down a man, but your team may not be able to take advantage of the gadgets you're hacking in the first place. So in short, Brava's gadget can hack basically any Defender gadget you can think of, but it comes with a cost of her drones being easy to notice and counter. When picking her, make for sure to watch out for any mozzies or mutes on the enemy team. If they have a lot of drone denial, then I'd switch to a different operator. When playing Brava, make for sure you're working with your team and calling out as much as you can. Give callouts on Defender positions, gadget placements, and anything else you can. One callout could mean the difference between a round win or a round loss. Also, when you don't call out, you are removing one of the strongest aspects of Brava, her intel gathering capabilities. Don't think that this forces you to be a drone jockey for the whole round because she brings an amazing gun to the table with the Para 308. Also, she brings some additional utility like her secondary shotgun and smokes that can make a huge difference in a round. So try and use those as well when you can. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I make Rainbow Six Siege content just like this twice a week. So make for sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you don't miss the next upload. If you want to watch another video just like this one, a video will be popping up on your screen right now. And I'll see you next time, friends, and peace.